as Ed here, and I was watching Lid Motors circuit where he was lighting an LED, a 115 volt LED bulb, using um, these three transistors, and he was going through a transformer. Well, I hooked it to the Fuji trigger coil and then hooked it to my Tesla coil and basically it is still being triggered these this transistors are being triggered by this loop of wire which is carrying a 60 hertz signal just from a, a plugged in extension cord and here's what we have Oh, let's see. Let's see if I can get it started without destroying everything. <clears throat> All right. All right. I'm plug it in. I got nine volts hooked to it. Okay. We're using. Wow, well, it's drawing about 200 milli. Now yeah, it dropped down, but you can see it's radiating way out there already. Pretty good, pretty good uh, radiation way on out there. See, it's pretty bright. And as you can see, see the the wires just wrapped around my solder and iron I, I solder. It's not even turned on or anything. It's got a trigger, so the trigger's not even being pulled. But he's pulling the, the trigger um, signal from the cord that's plugged in. And you can see it's uh, running that. And I can get it started. Let's see if I hit something. I, I really screwed something up. But uh, anyway, I'll check it out. Bye. Okay, this is a continuation. As you can see, we are using about 25 milliamps. And as you can see, the current, I mean, the LED is extremely bright. And let's see, I am at 18. 18 inches up and it gives me that see <clears throat> and that's going through this transformer just one side of the transformer is hooked up and it's only hooked up with one lead the other lead is dangling in the air as you can see And it's pretty bright. See, I'm way over here. It's, it's a good 18, 20 inches, somewhere right there. I'm picking it up. And it's very bright. And we're getting we're using about 25 milliamps and that's that lid motor configuration okay we'll see y'all later bye